everyone, it is Monday. I do not know the date. I think it's the 6th of February. And um, this week's topic is all about religion and whatnot, right? I, you know, why not? Um, okay, so we've covered this a lot of times before. Well, I'm not sure of a lot, but we've covered this before. And I guess we're going into more detail about it. Um, the video's probably going to be kind of long because when it comes to my religion or spiritual beliefs, it is long and complicated, at least. Not a lot of people understand it, I guess. Um, okay, so if I'm talking about what religion I identify with, I use a lot of hand gestures to, you know, talk about things help further explain. I'm sorry, I know I need a haircut, but if we're talking about what religion we identify with, I would as simply just say I am Buddhist. I meditate. Um, I have a mala. I don't actually have it with me. I usually wear it around my right there. Um, I actually have two malas, but one broke. But yeah, I'm Buddhist. Mostly because I follow, um, like, okay, I don't want to start preaching at you guys, but basically, the rules of Buddhism is just be a good person. That's pretty much it, like, and, and it just has the most basic rules to be a good person. There's no, like, if you don't do this, you're gonna suffer an eternity in hell, and some dude's gonna smite you and stuff. It's, yeah. I follow, like, the Eightfold Path, or I at least try to the best I can. Everyone has their mistakes. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I've just, I've always pondered that religion for a very long time, but I never really started completely studying and divulging all of my time into it until about a year and a half, I guess, ago. But, yeah. Ah, uh, my hair is ridiculous. Okay, um, but when it comes to my own personal beliefs that you can't really put into a label because it gets kind of complicated, I guess I can just describe it to you guys. And, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because I've been in weight training and I've been on T and I'm starting to get shoulder muscles. I don't know, can you see that? I don't know, I just want to brag. Um, okay. But anyways, um, I think I'm a very spiritual person. I explained this before and it's really hard to explain to people because not a lot of people get the concept of it. Um, I guess my beliefs is a mix of like science and, and spirituality. Um, and it all circles around the basis of energy being recycled and reused and the fact that we are all energy beings. It sounds a little out there and, and, and hippie-ish, but that's what I think. Um, it's actually like everything has energy. Everything, if it doesn't have kinetic energy, it has potential energy. Everything is made out of some sort of matter and energy no matter what it is. So, ow! I'm sorry, I, my ribs shift sometimes and I'm having... Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, when we die, we're recycled into the earth, into nature, we become the trees, right? We become plants, we're buried, we bio whatever it's called, degenerate. And I think it's more than just that when it comes to physical beings. I feel like not only your your um body disintegrates, but your consciousness is also recycled into not necessarily nature, but the flow of, of energy that the whole everything and the whole entire existence of everything 
is. Um, I also believe that if you give off positive energy, you'll be reflected onto positive energy onto you. If you give out negative energy, just negative energy is going to be reflected on you. So you need to be positive. And it's like, I've looked a lot into this, like, the whole crazy quantum physics shit, and that shit's like, yeah, like, it's proven that the kind of energy that you give out is the kind that is most likely going to be reflected and, and given back to you. And it's it's really long, it's kind of complicated, but I identify as Buddhist because I like meditating, I like following basically the guide to be a good person. Um, it, it just makes sense, like, if you free yourself from all of the things that you're attached to, then you're not going to feel miserable. That's basically what it's just saying. Like, the only time you ever feel miserable is because you're attached to something. And that's it, I guess. And, and I don't know, just be a good person, I guess. Um, I can go further into detail about my religious history, I guess. Um, from birth to like young, very young youthfulness, I was a Jehovah's Witness. I studied the Bible. I have read the whole Bible more than once, so I know a lot about it. Uh, but after I stopped being a Jehovah's Witness because my parents got divorced, and that's against the, um, they had to get excommunicated because of that, I became a very hardcore Christian. I was like, carry my Bible around to school. I actually think I still have it. Bible, and I used to read this every night before I went to sleep, which is why it looks so beat up. But I used to be a huge, like, hardcore Bible thumper, and that was until middle school. Well, not middle school, but like the end of high school, the beginning, or the end of middle school, the beginning of high school. That's when I started questioning my, my religion. I started looking into other religions like Judaism. Buddhism, paganism, Wiccan stuff, just so I know, like, because I used to have no social life at all, I would just sit on the computer all day doing nothing but researching random stuff, and a lot of it was religion. The, all of the other stuff was just LGBT stuff. So I just studied religion and LGBT stuff, and a bunch of random sciencey stuff too. Um, but, so I know like a lot about religion and stuff. It, it just that's that's what happens when you have no life and yeah, I guess. Um <clears throat> but yeah. Um I was always like agnostic until well, I always like identified as Buddhist, but I never really like actively was like studying and now I'm starting to to see about going to temple too, cause it's tight, yo. Meditate daily, cause it makes you feel amazing. This video is getting long and stupid. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, but I need to post a video about my two months on testosterone on my personal channel, so I need to go. If you have any more questions about my religion or how I got it, or like you want me to explain something that doesn't make sense to you, just personal message me, Tumblr or on on YouTube. Just post a link to my YouTube and Tumblr down there, just in case you want to know or something. That's it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. My name is Ryan. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope me playing with my hair wasn't that much of a distractor to you. I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.